think about what you're doing! I have to save the planet! Yes, but you're supposed to rinse it out and peel off the label first! Ugh. Why do they have to make recycling so complicated? Dude, every time you recycle anything, you act as if you're single-handedly saving the world! Ugh, I'll just throw it in the regular trash. It's easier to carry the guilt than carry the bottle. Judged. You have to recycle this. Oh, but I never know which bin to use. Then you need to learn more about recycling. Take a leaf from my book. Well, don't actually take a leaf, as that would harm the tree that the book is made from. Actually, don't make a book at all, because the trees are dying. Just use recycled paper, okay? Who wants to use something that's already been used? Isn't it weird making new stuff out of old stuff? With today's sophisticated recycling techniques, you can reuse old stuff, and most people can never tell the difference. Nah, I think it looks cheap. All I'm saying is we all need to be aware of the impact we're having on the planet. Look at me, I have so little impact that when I'm gone, it'll be like I never even existed. Doesn't that sound fulfilling? No. If we ruin this planet, can we just move on to the next one? It's what the Founding Fathers would have done. It's exactly that kind of glib attitude that led to the near extinction of the great stink ape of Elmore Woods. Wow. That ape must have been seriously glib for it to lead to its own extinction. I will make this as clear as I possibly can. The people were glib, the ape was not glib. How do you know the ape wasn't glib? I guess everyone has a bad day sometimes. Right, I, I feel like we're getting away from the point. That's true, I don't even know what glib means. So, why is this Bigfoot creature thing called a stink ape, anyway? Its scent was reminiscent of a skunk, or rotting flesh, or rotting skunk flesh. And just to confirm you want to save this animal, not destroy it with fire, then... Wait, I can definitely smell something. Can you smell it, Darwin? It smells like miscellaneous herbs and body odor. I was going for the stink of hypocrisy! Excuse me? Well, everything you do has an impact on something. Not me. Come walk a mile in my sandals, I'll show you. I don't think those things will last a mile, but whatever. Welcome to Organic and Staff. I think all ethical living has to start with what you buy, which is why I never buy from big corporations. I shop at 13 different free trade independent grocery stores like this one. Sure, it may take me roughly three tanks of gas and a full set of tires to get my weekly groceries, but all the food here is locally sourced. Really? Were the coconuts locally sourced? And the Hungarian goulash? And this Himalayan go curd? How did that get here? Truck, truck, boat, train, plane, truck, tanker, moped, truck, unicycle. Well, it was locally sourced in this country of origin. Thanks, Larry. Hey, am I paying extra for this warm feeling inside? <laughs> yes. Oh. But Mr. Small, how can you justify having money? It's made from paper, which comes from trees, which need to be cut down. But I also use a bank card. A plastic bank card, perchance? Fine! Littering, Mr. Small? Really? <gasps> Welcome to tea and stuff. What kind of blend are you vibing today? Yeah, 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 just my usual. Haven't we already been in here? <laughs> no, tea and stuff is not connected to organic and stuff, and neither of them are affiliates or subsidiaries of Chanex Incorporated. Hmm, are you sure about that? Of course, they do poetry readings and jazz nights. There's a chalkboard with inspirational messages on. It can't be a big corporation. Look closer, Mr. Small. Then I'll just drink tap water. Just accept it. Everybody has an impact on something. Well, not me. I have never harmed a single living thing. Hey, he hasn't paid. But it says the water's complimentary. Yes, but the paper cup is thirteen fifty. I've never harmed a single living thing. I've never harmed a single living thing. I've never harmed a single living thing. Wow, I really nailed that line. But maybe he's right. I'm home! Oh, hey, Patch. Hey, buddy. Mom, Dad, I've got some news. I got into Yale for microbes. Oh, we're so proud of you. A chip off the old cell lining. 20 generations of our family have lived in this water for almost an hour, and you'll be the first to go to university, son. What have I done? Rip the diameter to you! I'm so sorry. Let me just... Oh! <laughs> 